What's up guys, my name's Hugh Miller and Her Interactive just dropped another character art. This time it's Lauren Holt. Uh, previously Lauren Corey. And I don't, I don't know why Her Interactive is changing the last names of all these... Uh, excuse me, all these original characters. Like we had uh, the Perry, or Paris, May Paris and um, uh, Tegan Paris. And it is now May and Tegan Perry. Not sure... I, I don't know what's going on. So... My guess is Jan Jenna Ravencroft, her last name is going to change as well. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't I don't know. But all I know is that we got new character art for Lauren. And uh, it's now Lauren Holt, not Lauren Corey. And we've got a new character, de uh, character description for her as well. It says, As the last living person residing on the Hathorne property, Lauren claims to be the heir of the historic Hathorne house. Lauren owns an apothecary and tea shop in Salem and mixes natural remedies in the traditional methods. She has a great respect for the town's history, but would she use her expertise to unethically get what she wants? Who knows? But yeah, this is it. Just thought I'd show it off because it just came out of nowhere once again. Uh, they've put a little glow around her character art compared to the last however many character arts they've actually released so this is kind of kind of new all the other ones just are placed there this time there is a bit of a glow uh that obviously doesn't mean anything but it's a little interesting thing that it sort of caught my eye uh yeah that's it thank you all for watching let me know what you guys think about this change and name and character art once again and i'll see you all in the next video have a wonderful rest of your day mm -hmm.